Okay, the main reason that I'm here for this uh, for this corner, I've got a problem with my wheel speed sensor, um, and I'm trying to get a shot from behind, but it's really hard to get a shot. I can't focus or get the camera in there, but perhaps you can see a black cable that I'm moving around. Wheel speed sensor's mounted way up in here, and it aims at the end of the drive shaft. And so as the drive shaft spins, the wheel speed sensor is basically counting the speed, recording the speed of the drive shaft, sending that information back to the brake computer, and it compares the input from the other three wheels, and if all the wheels are reporting the same wheel speed, then everybody's happy. Um, if you put your brakes on and a wheel locks up and slides, then the computer detects that and immediately releases the brake pressure to this wheel to allow it to start turning again. That's what keeps your wheels going in a straight line so that your vehicle doesn't twist when you uh, put your brakes on in uneven driving circumstances. Um, once the wheel speed sensor detects that the wheel's rotating again, it allows brake pressure to be reapplied and the brakes will go back on. And then once the wheels, well, once the brakes go back on, if you're still on ice and snow, the wheel's gonna still lock back up again. The wheel speed sensor will detect that. The computer will, again, release pressure. The wheel will start to turn. Brake pressure will be reapplied and you'll lock up again and the brake pressure will be released again and the whole cycle repeats you know 50 60 70 times a second um, that's why on an abs vehicle when you put your brakes on leave the brakes on push your foot to push your foot down and let the computer do its thing if you lift off your brake pedal you allow all the wheels to release and roll and basically the computer resets and you're in the meantime you've really overdriven your braking distance and you may not actually be able to stop in time for whatever you were trying to stop for. Um, so ABS is meant to be, you know, left alone. Put your brakes on, let the ABS computer do its thing. Um, I've got a signal problem with this wheel speed sensor. Um, so I've actually got a Christmas tree on the dash. This thing sets off a couple of different alarms for the car. Um, it sets off a brake light. It sets off a traction control light because it can't, the traction control computer can't function if it doesn't monitor wheel speed from all four sides or all four corners. Um, and it also throws a tire pressure light. Um, there's a story behind that that I'll explain in another excerpt. But basically what I've got to do is take the wheel off and I got to take the drive shaft off and the wheel speed sensor and see if I can effect a repair here.